Dungeons! Mysteries! We're, we're, we're doing it. Oh, I still have coffee left. Unfortunately, I am now drinking orange juice, so it would be a very bad idea to drink that. Oof. Or would it? I don't know. Orange mocha frappuccinos are a thing. I've never had one. Hey, secret. Don't mind the sub goal still being Fire Emblem Engage. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, um... I'm not quite sure what to replace it with. Or what, uh, what, what we should try for next. I have a couple of ideas. What was that thing about a computer device pump? Oh, in, uh, in livestream chat? I, I, um, I went ahead and ordered the last part. I had, uh, said yesterday when somebody asked me about it, like, if I had ordered it yet, I had said, uh, I had said no because I was waiting for the price to go back down. Yeah, like, when I, yeah, the, the last one that's completely mandatory. Yeah, we did it. Um, yeah, what happened was, when I first started the goal for that one, of, uh, 500 bucks, I, I made it 500 because I'm like, okay, uh, after taxes, price, price fluctuation, whatever. But the card I had decided on was originally, like, 460 before taxes and all that, all that junk. So I had that, that's the one I decided on, and then I'm watching it, I, cause I, I, I kinda just keep everything in, like, my, um, what's it called? Like, my Amazon cart, and just kinda, like, watch how the prices fluctuate on all the parts I need and whatnot, or stuff I need in general. And, uh, good god! That thing was skyrocketing! <laughs> As I said, last week, it was, like, uh, 650 or some crap, and I think it's already back up to that now. But last night, I just ha so happened to look, and it was, um, back down to, like, 509, which is, you know, obviously more than I wanted to pay for it, especially after taxes, but, um, it was also the cheapest I had seen it in, uh, in, like, at least a couple months, so I was like, okay, it's on Amazon, I have an Amazon credit card now, so I won't have to pay it off until the end, the very, very end of the month, <laughs> after some of the Twitch money that we're gonna, that's supposed to be coming in because of the gift sub nonsense. So, oh, uh, so, yeah, it, it's done. It's gonna take forever to get here for some reason. I think the estimated delivery date was like the, uh, the 29th or some nonsense. So it's gonna take a while, but yes, it has been done. Once it is here, I'm still not gonna build it right away. Like I said, we've got one more goal down there. Give myself a party hat. <laughs> one second, can I find a party hat? <laughs> can I find a party hat real quick? Hmm. But yeah, since it's gonna, especially since it's going to take forever to get here anyway. But, um, but yeah, once it is here, then Kibo can be built. And hey, at the rate we're going, we're already half, we're already halfway there. Thanks to Stu going full ham yesterday and Phoenix the day before that to a degree, I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, but if, if that, unless that release date gets moved up, odds are that, um, by the time it does get delivered, I will have that, um, I will have the HHD anyway, so yeah. We're basically done. I just gotta figure out who's gonna build it for me. Heyo, Stu. Heyo, Neo. If I didn't already say heyo. Yeah, ta. People are gonna think it's my birthday. It's not my birthday. <laughs> Alright, last time. The monkeys destroyed my butt. And it was really lame. And also, we did it. We, they, we then blackmailed Slash, gave them a really raw deal in exchange for building a house. We're, um, we're like Saint Olaf, and they're the troll. What I'm saying is, we're the assholes. Good morning, Nova. Let's boost the monkey gang's brow with a peeled chestnut. We can buy them an uproar forest. I oh, should have some of those. I need three to progress? Okay. Um, I already halfway through the storage goal because because of you, Stu. <laughs> because you went full ham last night.
<laughs> that's how. <laughs> that's why. I'm, that's why I'm saying. <laughs> like I said, I, I I had planned on holding off a little longer, both to one bu actually buy the graphics card, and two save and uh, two get a HHD first. But now that I have the graphics card, but it's not going to be here for a while yet. <laughs> I'll probably have that done by the time it gets here, though. <laughs> so yeah, we're basically done. Hey, you bring us a peel chestnut? What? You don't have any, but we can't work. Okay, all right, all right, all right, one second. I definitely already at least have a peel, but I don't think I have them with me. I assume I have to take them out of storage. Or well, then again, maybe I don't, because I wasn't picking up anything. Yeah, shoot, I might not, actually. Oh, wait, no, I do. I have to do. Okay, I need one more. You assumed sub and donation goals were separate? No, they probably should be. <laughs> they probably should be, because that's the reason that, like, even though I even though I can technically afford all the stuff right now, once it's done, my bank account is going to be, like, have, like, less than 100 bucks in it for a while, which is not going to be fun, but... Uh, ho hopefully. Hopefully we can manage. Oh, did not mean to... Back in there, we'll check the billboard. Back in there anyway. But yeah, on that note, um... <laughs> I don't know what to do next, like I said. I'm not gonna worry about uh, having the uh, the parts goals and sub goals and whatnot be separate. It's just gonna be like one or the other from now on, probably. For some more, again, it should have I should have been keeping track of them separate in the first place. But engage DLC, that'll be a separate thing. That'll just be a hey. If anybody wants me to do this, uh, I don't know. Buy buy me a eShop gift card or something. <laughs> uh. But no, in terms of like um big things to work towards. Um, I'm not sure what to do next. I have a couple of ideas. And I guess I can throw those out there if all I'm doing is running through this gosh dang forest again. Since this was the original idea before um before, uh, before, <laughs> before the Artesian incident happened, <laughs> among other things. Uh, one idea was to have some kind of goal to uh, do either that Fire Emblem or Resident Evil Marathon. I definitely don't think I'll do both at the same time. I think that was overreaching, even back when it was, like, potentially feasible. I'm so glad critical hits are just one-hit KOs, apparently. Bruh. Fuck you, Apom. Remember when group watches were goals? Yeah. <laughs> Good time. Yeah, no. I enjoy I enjoy those too much, but put, I, I enjoy I enjoy doing those too much to put those behind a back behind a paywall. Because those are effectively a day off for me. But yeah, I was thinking either um I guess like 150. 150 is the sub goal to do either Resident e uh, the Resident Evil or Fire Emblem Marathon. Do a poll for the goal, you think? Oh no, are we at that point? <laughs> I guess. Well, if we're, if we're, even if we're gonna do that, whether or not, like I said, just um, you know, let me know what you think of these ideas. One would one would be, like I said, either I, I would guess I would put both on there. Fire Emblem or Resident Evil Marathon. Um, the other idea was, um, back when we were first toying with the idea of the live dub, what I had done at one point was say, hey, uh, if we reach the goal for it within this time limit, instead of, um, instead of letting a poll decide or whatever, uh, we'll just do all three Danganronpas, even V3, <laughs> aka the one I hate. Not Despair Girls, though, fuck that. We ain't doing that one no matter what. Unless somebody directly pays me an absurd amount of money for it. But, um... <laughs> but I was thinking, yeah. Like, maybe, um... 150 to do a Danganronpa Trilogy fan dub. Because I kind of miss the live dubs. Not gonna lie, I, mi I, mi I miss doing that nonsense. It was a fun time. 
I will hate the older Effie games, I'm aware. I am very much aware. But yeah, that's it. Sorry for all the build-up to act like I had a shit ton of ideas. <laughs> hey, Gago! 18 months! My god, man. Thank you very much for updating the autopsy report. I didn't need to enjoy your Akamonic as an emo. We're talking about sub goals. Yeah, those are, those are kind of my only ideas for now. Two, technically three ideas. Anybody else has any other suggestions, uh, by all means? Because I'm still not good with this kind of crap. Great Ace Attorney! Great Ace Attorney was such a good time, man. I'm glad you enjoyed that one. I miss those days. That was the last- that was the- that was the golden age, in my opinion. Great Ace Attorney and Neo Tweewee back-to-back. Either Effie or Ari is a sub-goal, and the other one is a donation goal. If I did- if I did do that, I would have to- I would have to actually keep them separate this time. If people are okay with that. Then I wouldn't necessarily mind doing that. But yeah, I actually- I had intended to keep them separate when I first started doing it. It's just that, like, once- every so often somebody would, like, drop an absurd amount of gift subs or money or whatever and be like, What, doesn't that count towards the goal? And I just be like, yeah, yeah, I guess it does. Oh, easy. I need to get one of my good items for it, but hey. Oh, never mind, iron spikes. How much is to spare, girls? I think it's like 3,000. Where is there a Nuzleaf? Where is John Locke? There's John Locke. Don't forget the nuts. I think I only needed one more, so I'm technically fine. It is 3,000, yep. <laughs> yeah, no. Sorry, not sorry. Anyone who wants me to play that, I cannot stress just how unpleasant an experience that game is for me and most other people. Anyone who actually has taste and standards and moral fiber and all that jazz. In Minecraft, it's 5,000, that's right. One whole Minecraft stream. Minecraft should probably not cost more than Despair Girls, but you know what? It's funnier this way. Bleach Bowdark! <laughs> what now it's some goal? Beach Bowdark is already a goddamn bounty. <laughs> Somebody asked for it as a meme. I think it was Bonato. <laughs> oh my god. Where the bounce count. Jesus Christ. I've been very I've been very tempted the last couple of days ever since catching up to uh to uh reapply as a uh, five dollar patron on Gigaboots. I probably should. It's not like it's that much money. The only reason I stopped doing it initially is because I changed my credit card a while back. I'm just sitting here thinking like, oh man, I really want to see the next episode. <laughs> I really want to see the gear start to start to the gear slowly start to turn about why they quit before. Can you believe I yelled at you for thinking about Naruto? Yes, because I care about you, pump. I don't want you to hurt yourself. It's dangerous. I cannot stress how dangerous a path that is to go down. You mustn't return to that world of nightmarish delusions come to life. What could go wrong? You could become a Sazunaru fan? I mean, well, that's just the- that's just the story. Fucking everybody is in love with Sasuke. By definition, every Sasuke-related pairing is canon because every character loves him, because the author loves him, because fuck you. I got your goddamn nuts! Ooh, Chester! We want to build Chester! Give it to us!
Yeah, feel just done. All right, you layabouts, get it together. Chop, chop. Put the legend around yourself. Get moving. Let's little renovate your rescue team base. Carry the materials and get the place built double quick. Just you wait. Yes, yeah, Sasuke. And so, supplied with another peel chestnut, the monkey gang got motivated. Da 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 And returned to work on the rescue team's renovation. Yo, Don Kino, I miss them! I miss them so much! As a result, the rescue team's base completion moved a little closer. Thank you for that. What do you want? Three more to finish it? What's the worst that could happen? What? You found a show you like? Ninja! <laughs> Here we get the field chest up. Oh, I have to give it to them five to I have to give it to them three times, bruh. Dude. <laughs> really? Really? Game! Game! Game, you being silly! Game! Uh, don't watch the ninja. <laughs> If you're going to watch a ninja themed Super Sentai, watch Hurricanger. Or Kaku Ranger. Oh god, I'm terrifying! Finally! The day has finally come! Nova, it's actually finished! Our Zippermon's rescue team base! Oh, it's so cool! I look like it hurts to be me. When you first watched Drive, you saw the crosser with the ninja and thought, wow, this show seems like it sucks. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it is just exceedingly kind of bleh. No matter how you look at it, our rescue team base is way past cool. The way it looks like you is a nice touch, Nova. We are on very hard. It was very hard, but it was worth it. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Crystal Cops playing his Majima, that's awesome. Everyone, thank you! Stay here! Something I want to ask. If this rescue team base is finished, does that mean you won't bring us peeled chestnuts no more? <laughs> well, what do you think? We don't need you to keep working on the base anymore. To our Mankey Gang, thanks for everything! They're gonna beat us. What? Don't. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Stop that! Okay, no, we stopped them. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ, game. I can't, I don't trust you. They promised to keep from rampaging. Return for more peeled chestnuts, they return. And that is how the chaotic renovation of the rescue team base came to an end. We're gonna have to pay these guys. We, we fucking set ourselves up. We're gonna have to pay them for the rest of our goddamn lives like fucking protection money. Oh, we're dumb. Get rid of the party pass. Celebrated enough for one night. Morning, Nova! The next day at our rescue team base is still looking super cool. Being all shiny and new makes me feel like it's a fresh start for us. Shiny and new like a virgin, touched for the very first time. I hate that song. Let's keep working hard on our rescue work, Nova. Episode title, Nova in debt to the Mankey Mafia. Let me write that down. I've been struggling with episode titles for this stuff uh, for this series. <laughs> Wee! 
people on Twitter are defending the new Genshin girl. Again, I cannot stress enough, like, Genshin's not a difficult game. You can beat it with anybody. If you're if you're like me and just love her design that much and like don't really have a good fire DPS or just want a new fire DPS to play with, then then go for it. I'm not going to judge. I'm just a coward. I'm just a coward who doesn't have the courage to fully commit to my waifu. We already have best fire waifu, Bennett. Fair enough. <laughs> Of course, Kenshin fans are white knighting shit, yeah. Yeah, they've been conditioned to just kind of uh, accept any old nonsense that, uh, that Hoyo throws at us. You miss Phoenix, right? I do too. Yeah, I'm reminiscing when Goggle came in about great Ace Attorney. But I think I just miss Ace Attorney in general. A wonderful, wonderful franchise. <laughs> Still battling the last game! The entire franchise built on gay, 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 gay. Even those games, even Great Ace Attorney, gay, 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 gay. And then all of a sudden, very end, bam! Heterosexuality. Bruh. I wasn't even mad because I like Susato a lot, but just what? <laughs> what? Still about battle about late versus right. Oh, is it not good? Oh no! Oh, that sucks. You were watching the case with Olive Green versus the Clown. God, don't remind me. Oh, that poor woman. Yeah, I'll, Olive and... Um, I'll, Olive's whole thing is tied with uh, fucking uh, Park from, uh, from Yakuza 5 as, like, the angriest I have ever gotten in a video game. Like, dear god. Got you on the strength boys, and I, I can't forget. That shit hit me too hard, man. Spear. Yeah, that fuckwad. That absolute sack of fucking pure rancid garbage. The trash humpers would look at that man and go, ew, no, we have standards. Fuck that absolute piece of goddamn shit. I would have laughed at the prospect of his dead body harder if I'd known what a colossal, worthless piece of fucking shit he was. Got me to use that. Yeah, we saw him in the first game. Yeah, we saw him in the first game for like two seconds and I laughed at him then too. I could not have known. Oh, we got a rare. Oh boy. Remember LaBelle? I'm not allowed to forget LaBelle, apparently. Oh boy. Okay, I'll see real. It's 
Squirrel, I'm gonna need you to get closer so you can actually, you know, do something. Welcome back, Secret. Yippee! Even Airlock showed up and was like, I know I should have beat you, but I don't want to. I want to help slam this cloud. <laughs> Good shit. Aqua Tail. Depends. Does it suck as bad as it does in the main game? I feel like I don't need this, and I, 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 don't, I feel like I don't need two um, special water, so we'll get rid of Bubble. Oh, I like the bee lady. She was fun. You still haven't played it yourself, Seeker? Well, because it's one of those games. It's one of those games that's really only interesting to play once. Unfortunately. the game to support the studio, yeah. One thing that makes you sad, you can't really stream the old games because you've read the sto already read the story, essentially, Goggle. Damn, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I, 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 long for the I long for the day, if it ever happens somehow, where we can have, like, selective amnesia with no uh, potential risk or side effects for it. Because there are so many things I would love to experience for the first time again. Story-based games like Ace Attorney are a big are a big one of those. See you later, Pumpy. Have a good one. Take it easy at work. Best you can. Bruh. You would do that for 13 Sentinels? God, that'd be a good one. Especially because so many things can actually change depending on the order you do things in. <laughs> I still think it's neat that apparent. I still think it's super neat that apparently I did mine in a really weird order, because I think it was. Uh, I think it was Kiwi. Like she went to watch another playthrough of it, and in the comments she actually found somebody talking about my playthrough, and the fact that it took me so long to even know the name of the uh, uh, the fucking the, the fucking like guidance counselor dude. McWinger. And just how much they they apparently really appreciated just how different mine was compared to a lot of the other ones. It's neat. Maybe with three houses? I'd definitely be willing to do it for three houses again. Mostly blue lions. mostly follow guys. Well, that's not the same thing. I'm talking, like, it's mainly for the story. You've been enjoying Engage, you feel like it suffers from having to follow three houses story. That's, that, that's, that's the impression I get. <laughs> just, uh, just even speculating on the, what, like, what direction the story could go in based on what little I know. But hey, I'm gonna be finding out for myself soon, so we'll see. I, I, I if, Stu, I, I genuinely wonder, like, I, I like to think I understand enough about how writing works and all that jazz, that even if I had played Clown Shoes first, I would know better. Because, <laughs> like, it is laughable. It truly is how badly it's told compared to, uh, compared to the other routes. 
but I don't know. I like to think I would still know. But there are so many people who just unironically think Edelgard is the best thing about that game, and I'm just like, good god. I can't comprehend. Gonna do your Genshin Commission secret? Cool. cool. I did fight already, because I was up late. Fine, Teddy, here's a special model. Funny. Like I, I, I've said before, and I don't, I don't think anything's got any like information has come out since then. But like, I, I genuinely do think that that route was a last-minute thing. I think very, very late in development, somebody realized, oh shit, uh, Edelgard's the villain. Like that is just how it is. But she's such a prominent character, <laughs> especially in, uh, in her own. Uh, if you pick up, uh, you know, Black Eagles is your initial house. People are going to be pissed if they, if they can't keep her. People are going to be royally pissed if just no matter what you do, no matter who you side with, you lose her after the time skip. Shit, we have to make at least one campaign where she stays playable. And they did. And it turned out to be a very bad idea. I'm correct, that was the last one added, was it? Okay. I know that, I know that it got revealed that uh, Silver Snow was apparently actually the first. But I did not know that, um, we knew that that, we knew for a fact that that one was the last. Okay. Yeah, it does not surprise me at all. You picked Eagles for Petra? Valid. Petra's a very good girl. I enjoy, yeah, for that, nothing against Black Eagles as a house. It's, it, every other character in Black Eagles is great. And even Edelgard herself is great. It's just that she's the villain. She's a very, very good villain. Very enjoyable, very interesting, and I was very excited to learn more about her motives and be like, oh man, what drove her to this point where she's willing to be this villain? Yes, it wasn't good. Goddamn Noodle's gonna get itself killed. Get behind me, Five Head. But that's why it's great, because all the other good characters besides Hubert, you can just recruit in other routes. <laughs> you can have Petra as your waifu, because she deserves it. And not side with the genocidal tyrant with very, very dumb motivation. <laughs> or not, not dumb motivation. Dumb ways of enacting her vengeance. Bitch is dead ass working backwards. Join for Ferdy. Ferdy's a good boy. Respect the deaths for wanting an arguably very important route to be in the base game launch and not have a DLC. Honestly, shouldn't have that route be DLC so they can have more time to cook. I agree. Yeah. I would have rather waited and had that game like. I mean, I, I don't think it would have fixed the writing issues. <laughs> I, I hate to say it. I think they genuinely just kind of didn't think through of like. Okay, how can we make this story work when you're effectively siding with the villain? Uh, we're not going to. We're going to oo a fire and try to say she's not the villain and try to absolve her of her wrongdoings and end up just kind of making her look stupid. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I don't know if it would have fixed the writing issues, but hey, at the very least, it would have, at the very least, it would have had some neat cutscenes. That, that goddamn route has no budget. Certainly didn't do it any favors. Poor Petra! <laughs> Who put Petra at that fable? <laughs> it should be, it, it should be, uh, Hubert, Edelgard, and, uh, fucking Monica. Yeah, I just realized I will still go back to Three Hopes at some point and do at least one more route. Because I, I I was thinking about this. Even if Three Hopes is just not that good, which I suspect it isn't, I'm sure the other routes are at least a little better, but I suspect just in general, I don't think the game is that good. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure. I know I need to play more routes, but like, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I'm comfortable coming to that conclusion. <laughs> but um, the fact is, any other route I do will not have Monica in it. <laughs> And I think that will raise the other routes at least two points. At least. Plot-wise, plot-wise. Gameplay-wise, it's fine. Gameplay-wise, most of the issue... Game, I, I had some issues with the gameplay when I first started, but by the time I got I got into it, gameplay issues were largely not, not important. Gameplay-wise, it was perfectly fine after a point. After a point. into the lava. I don't know why I did that. Oh, right, because I was going to get food. You thought there was no goal to do the others and you still have it? Yeah. Again, that's where I'm at. That's why I don't think I'm... That's why, like, again, I, I, I do want to get back and at least do blue lines at some point, but I don't think I'm going to do Claude's. Everything I've heard about Claude's tells me that it's probably something I don't need to experience because it's just going to make me upset. Probably not more upset than uh, <laughs> but who knows. Ah! Pazuzu! Did Pazuzu run out on you again? That whore. How dare he? Well, I appreciate you, Dusk. Thank you very much for sticking with me for the 34 months! Continue to enjoy your Archimonica sing months. High numbers. It's crazy to think about how long I've been doing this. I was thinking about it because of, I was thinking about, like I said, the uh, the sub goal potentially being the Danganronpa live dubs, and I was, and I was um, like, when did I when did I originally like have that time limit goal? Where I where where I was like, oh, we'll do all three if we hit it by a certain point. And I was like, oh my god, that was two Christmases ago. Dear God. Yeah, during SMT five. That's right. Who would I say is worse, Monica or Utsumi? Probably Monica. Utsumi's not even necessarily offensively bad. He's just generally kind of pointless and like ineffectual and has no personality or point to anything he does, and yet the, sh the show kind of continually treats him like he should matter. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> it's at least kind of funny that he thinks he matters. That's fair. Dust doesn't even know who I'm talking about. That's how pointless Utsumi is! <laughs> he contributes nothing to the overall scope of that story. It is embarrassing. I just remembered something about it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So I so I was half memeing when I uh, when I was describing Gundam Double O as basically being common rider build. But you know what? Uh, keep keep it in the back of your head. <laughs> so, some plot points. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. It's not one-to-one, -one, it's just funny. It's funny because they make fun of it in the same way. The character I'm thinking of is way, way better than Utsumi. I'm not going to say which character it is. It will probably be obvious by the time we're done with the next set of episodes. Especially because I found the, uh, the treasure trove. That is the special exclusive preview for season two. That was sadly never dubbed, but we're going to watch it anyway. Because it's hilarious. It's not as bad as Itsumi. It's genuine. It, it, it's, 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 it's the Itsumi shit, but good. I promise. Because <laughs> I didn't even think to make that connection until just now. Because it does it that much better. I had not even thought about it.
There are some things that happen in the show that I think could potentially drop it for you, Dusk, just based on how you've described how you feel about it thus far and what you hate about stuff like Code Geass. There's a couple of iffy moments, but that but that is actually not one of them. There is one thing, in, if, if anything is going to make you turn on the show, it's one particular thing, and it is not related to that. Did not mean to do that. Depends on if I see it as good writing, or writing a problem, or a good thing. Writing in three houses is that each route is written in a way, three houses that you have to experience every other way to get the full story. Oh yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, I, I personally like that. I think that if you are going to have a route split, then that is actually the smarter way to do it. Like, does part of me wish that Blue Lions got a little bit more, um, got a little bit more lore-wise and, like, a little more conclusion with the, uh, the Skrill those who Skrillex in the Dark people? Yes, of course. But that's just because Blue Lions is so close to being the definitive route that I'm just like, oh man, I wish they had also done this. But it's like, whatever. If you're going to have a split, then that is the smart way to do it. Is have, like, full unique things about all of them. Why do I do this to you, Dust? Okay, I promise. I promise it will not hurt you as much as Code Geass. I literally don't see how it can. Because I watched, because I watched this shit live. I watched this shit go down back in the day. As Code Geass and Dumble, uh, Gundam 00 were airing back to back. And I saw other people's reactions. And Code Geass, people were obviously all over the goddamn place. But Gundam, Gundam 00 was a little different. Like, there was some backlash, there was some like, oh, come on. There was some dissatis dissatisfaction with the fact that it, um, the plot ended up going where it did. But uh, compared to the stuff that was going on on the Code Geass side of things, it was nothing. General consensus from everybody who actually stuck with Gundam Double O all the way through is that, yeah, it's all right. I, I wish they hadn't done X, Y, or Z, but it was still pretty good. Code Geass was split right down the middle. It was either It was either your new favorite show or you hated it. Worst thing ever. Zero out of ten. Anyone remember how many floors this one is? Three Hopes doesn't really have that. Does Three Hopes have, like, less differentiation with the routes than, yeah? That's even more reason to only do Blue Lions and just to not worry about Golden Deer. Your co-worker likes Gundam, you'll ask him about it? Oh, yeah! Yeah, by all means. <laughs> yeah, I I'm, always in I'm always interested to hear takes on Gundam because that's not a fandom I interact with too often. <laughs> but yeah, ask him what he thinks of Gundam. Uh, ask him what he thinks of Double O if he's seen it, and uh, either way, which one is his favorite, whether he likes that one or not. Someone cooked here. <laughs> you saw a video recommended to use it with the thumbnail saying that season two of Double O is really bad. Yeah. Yeah, there are a couple people who are like, it's mainly who are like, yeah, season two is the bad part. And I do get why. It's it's one of those things where if you look at season one and two as separate entities, they can feel like different shows. It is only, it is, it is genuinely kind of only when you look at them as a whole and see the bigger picture that you're like, oh, okay, this is how we got here. Wait a minute, that does make sense. <laughs> is it because of not Orihime? I don't, I, I no, definitely not. <laughs> I'm gonna, I shouldn't be telling you all this. 
<laughs> I should not be telling y'all this, but, um... Alright, you know how I mentioned that the, uh, the thing with the, the, the arc we had just had in the Middle East when we stopped for the week? How that was, like, her big thing of Season 1 and she doesn't really do much for the rest of the show? Or the rest of the season? She doesn't do... <laughs> she does even less in Season 2! I almost want to just tell you what happens to her in Season 2. That makes that she literally can do even less than usual. But, um, I, I, I will refrain. Just, um... Yeah. That's the thing, like, that's the thing with her. Like, as bad as she is, she's so minor that she can't even really hurt anything. Like, she is just kind of an unwanted presence who shows up every so often, says a couple of things, cries about world peace or whatever, and then leaves. Like, she is just a thing that happens that we have to endure every so often. I was looking it up. I, I actually, um, I actually d uh, did some digging and found an old, uh, an old blog I used to read back in the day. Um, blog Suki, I think is the name. I was, I, I was shocked the web, I, I was shocked the guy was still doing it. But yeah, um, I used to like read along with, uh, read along his blogs like after I finished watching the episode because he always had some funny thoughts on it. I was reading through some of his Gundam Double ones. And he, um, he mentioned something I hadn't really thought of. Or at least hadn't thought of in a while. The, the princess character, Marina, whatever. She is basically a modernization of Relena from Gundam Wing. And I think I mentioned that before, that, like, in general, Gundam 00 was almost like Wing Mark, Wing Mark 2 because they wanted to kind of go back to something like that after Seed was very divisive. And the way he put it was, yes, she's a modernization of Relayna from Wing, but did we need a modernization of Relayna? I don't think we did. And yeah, sure enough. She is like the weakest aspect of the show. Wild Gun to made a wooden stick that also is somehow a pedophile. <laughs> That's the other thing. Like, if I, I don't know. Like, I, I, I can't get into the full whys because it's spoilery, but like, like all the creative team have made it abundantly clear that she was not supposed to be a love interest. Like everything they talk about, I, I, like I believe them. I believe that she was in no way supposed to be a love interest. So I don't know why they insisted on writing a bunch of scenes that make it seem like she is supposed to be. It's one of them there, um... TV Tropes calls it a relationship writing fumble. Where it's like, if you didn't want it to seem like these two are supposed to be romantically inclined, then you did a very, very bad job of it. Weekend Kid or not Orihime? Weekend Kid. Like I said, not, not Orihime is a nuisance and boring and badly acted and all that. But, like, I don't think she detracts from anything. Like, there's, there's no point where, like, one of her scenes happens and I'm like, oh, man, this ruined something else or this made another character worse. Or, like, this other character should have gotten more screen time. I, I guess, yeah, I could argue that part, but... That's just because I like the other characters and want to see more of them in general. A weekend kid actively robbed other people of opportunities for storylines and or screen time. Literally cucked Julio. Out of the belt he earned.
Waking intersect haven't been anything since then, yeah. That still doesn't necessarily make it true that he was the one who was sexually harassing Aguilera's actress, but man, it's funny it's funny to assume that he was. Hey, Bess. We don't even know his name. I do, because it's similar to other characters' names I actually like. That's the only reason I remember it. I'm choosing not to say it. Because he does not deserve to have it remembered. Just everyone agrees that that character should not exist. Feeling better, but you have the cough. Yep. That's how it goes. That is the worst part about it. Really bored right now. <laughs> Not sure if this game is gonna help you with that. We're talking about other stuff though, so hey, maybe. I'm also probably gonna stop relatively early to uh, to make sure we can get um uh, uh to not not to bait. I I want to finish the Devil Survivor anime. I'm actually having fun watching it. Rainbow gummy, rainbow gummy. It was so emotional when his parents got cut by that sexual assault director and he got revenge for them. <laughs> I hate so bad. I genuinely don't like I I I I, I have to assume that the nepotism thing is just real. Like, I don't think that ever got confirmed or elaborated on, but, like, the idea that apparently because he was employed by, like, a popular agency or something, they gave him a bigger role. Like, there's no other fucking explanation. And then again, you know what? I say that, but it is possible that Kimishid is just that bad of a writer. It is very, very possible. The director was the assaulter. No, he, he, means, uh, he means Hot Dog Man best. I, I assume he means Hot Dog Man. Because he was the director of Phoenix or whatever. And he and he did, in fact, sexually assault people. <laughs> or at least it certainly felt like that. Gonna try and finish DS Quest before the stream is secret. Best of luck. At least because you already watched me, did it, you get to skip through the NPC dialogue. Yeah, yeah, he tried multiple times to assault Daiji. It's canon. I think there was uh, a job I never got, you know? Several jobs I never got now.
literally grooming him. He literally was. It was incredibly uncomfortable, and I'm not sure why it was written that way. Oh, wait, yes, I am. Kinoshit is an alien. <laughs> terrible. Speaking of terrible, I am do I am doing this right. There's there's just dead ass no plot now, <laughs> right? It's just uh, forcing me to do menial tasks until uh, until things happen. This is like one of the first areas, right? I think it was, in which case I'm going to uh, speedrun it. You're so interested in the saver group watch with the context of Revice, you and me both. <coughs> the comment bested about how a lot of secondary riders are just randoms joining the cast. You know, I most of them feel some of them are missed opportunities for character arcs. For example, Forsay, you like Rise. But you feel like you would have liked Tango as Meteor? Yeah, yeah, Dusk. Yeah, I think it was me who said that, actually. Yeah, like, that that strange period where they did that, like, for pretty much every season. Like, all of those characters ended up being perfectly fine. But yeah, it, it was definitely kind of a strange trend there for a while. Where, like, they had a huge- they would have a huge supporting cast and easily could have, like, just made one of them the secondary and instead some new guy just kind of eated into existence. Yeah, they don't do that anymore. Yeah, it was just early Heisei. Like I said, I have no idea why that was such a huge trend for a while, but it was. The Six Ranger effect. Wild how Kinoshita watched the Star Wars prequels and decided to rip off the Palpatine Anakin thing, but without any writing ability at all. George Lucas unironically has more writing ability than Kinoshita. George Lucas is at least capable of writing some interesting characters and ideas for stories, even if they're not necessarily always executed very well. Kinoshita genuinely feels like an alien who tried to write and failed. That's one reason I'm that's one reason I'm also excited to uh, to finally replay uh, Final Fantasy 13 because I know that was a common complaint about the way its story was written <laughs> is that it felt like an alien wrote it. Like you feel go join late and would have felt better to have Chase as the secretary. I mean, with ev everything they do with Chase, I think it worked out fine. And Go, at least, like, was kind of foreshadowed to a degree and, like, had connections with, uh, thanks to his sister and everything. But yeah, that, that, it is, it, it is still the same thing, technically. Yeah, that was a, tr that was a trend that went from, uh, uh, decayed all the way through Drive. The idea of just a random new person showing up and, and being the secondary instead of incorporating a main cast member. Kinda wish they brought that trend back now. I wouldn't mind it so long as it doesn't become a trend again. Like, I think the name of the game is just that 
I don't feel like there- I, I don't want there to be trends, period. Just, like, shake things up. Try, try new things. Never do the same idea twice in back-to-back -back seasons. I know it's Kamen Rider, it's a long-running franchise, and there's always going to be some repetition, because that's what it does. Like, oh man, it's been long enough, kids have grown up, we can do this idea again. But you gotta at least wait a few years. Yeah, just think just think about how well secondaries come off in comparison when they're there from the beginning. Think about think think about the Rens, the Kagamis, the Kaitos. That's Kaito from uh from God, not Kaito from uh Decade. Daiki. That's why I call him Daiki, even though everybody else calls him Kaito. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, right. Ryuki is extra special <laughs> because Ren is basically almost Ren is arguably more of the main character than Shinji, or at the very least, they could you could argue that they're both the main character and just like parallels each other or some gay shit like that. They only do a battle royale every ten seasons or so, exactly. That was annoying. <laughs> Why would they spawn me like that? Dicks. Sentai sales probably did a decent job making the past few scenes actually have its own identity. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, I do not think the failing of Sentai in recent years is even ne is necessarily because of the quality of the shows. Like I have not personally enjoyed the last couple seasons very much, but um, I, I think I've mentioned this before. I honestly think the biggest issue is the toys. I I think that these days a lot of the mecha are just not that interesting looking. And the kids just kind of don't give a shit. <laughs> like, I genuinely think that's a bigger issue than the actual writing quality or anything like that. I think that the, uh, the toys themselves just aren't that interesting. Don Brothers is the Don Brothers is the first mecha design that I was that I would actually consider buying a toy of <laughs> that we've had in years. Yeah, Megazords this day, these days are just very clunky, very overcomplicated, slash not complicated enough. A lot of them do that thing where, like, the the, Zo the Megazord is 90% just the red mecha. And the rest are, uh, and, 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 like, anyone else is just an arm attachment or some shit. 
just lazy and not terribly interesting. Oh, this is a dead end. Competing with anime? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are just too many mecha anime these days. Bandai also makes Gundams. Ain't no child out there who is going to want these clunky-ass ugly Megazords over a Gundam. Just ain't happening. Akito only had another Akito as a random, and even that was foreshadowed. Like, we were hearing about, we, like, we heard about Kino-san very, very early on. Yeah, Kusaka was a new guy, Garn was for the beginning, Ibuki was there pretty early. Kagami is the actual main character. Yuto was technically talked about before, and Nago, Nago's super early. Nago shows up in, like, episode four. He doesn't transform right away. But yeah, he's around from pretty much the get-go. Yeah, that's that's why I say, like, like early, early Heisei, it went back and forth. It could go either way. Whether or not it was somebody new or somebody there from the beginning. And even if it was somebody who was new, they were usually at least foreshadowed in some way. That's why I said it only became it only really became a trend from uh from uh decade onward. Power Rangers' problem is that they don't have faith in new seasons, so they have to rely on nostalgia. Yep, like I said, I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm pissed. I am genuinely pissed at them for bringing back Heckle. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers for Cosmic Fury. I apologize if anybody didn't want to know that or whatever. <laughs> Cosmic Fury is bringing back Heckle. Who is the one of the, who is like the best part of Dino Charge? So I, as, as much as I'd fucking love to see Heckle again, like I, I still don't want to watch Cosmic Fury. Like it just kind of seems really desperate and pandering and low budget. Prob and it's and it's low budget because they probably wasted all of their budget doing the reunion the reunion special instead. Once and always. They're bringing back gold from Beast Morphers. Oh, don't tell me that! They're bringing back Nate, too? Oh, you fuckers! Ah! <laughs> I like Nate. Nate was cool. Not as cool as his robot, but who the, who the fuck is? Literally no character, <laughs> by definition, no character is as cool as Steel. to stop myself from calling him Jay. I was gonna say, I, 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 I'm jinxing myself because <laughs> yeah, if Nate's back, then Steel is almost certainly also back. It would be very weird to separate them. Dino Fury had no- it didn't, yeah, no. Again, I'd be- I'd be fine with it if- n I, I think it was really cool that they were doing this. Except one, they were clearly not given enough money for it. Two, Dino Fury itself didn't seem like it had a lot of- I, I still have not finished Dino Fury. Linkara- <laughs> Linkara finishes History of Power Rangers on Dino Fury. Linkara finished a Power Rangers season before me. I might just watch that instead of watching it at this point. But, like, the fact that Ka the Dino Fury did some of the things I know it did... Uh, that, that... 
very, very desperate. <laughs> they did a they did a thing in that show. That is uh, one of the most pandering slash disrespectful things I've ever seen in Power Rangers. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure that thing that they did is carrying over to Cosmic Fury. Hence why I'm just kind of like, I... whatever. Rest in peace, Robert Axelrod. They did you dirty. Get ambushed by the Ampharos the second I, I, I fought in. Good god. Okay, uh, Sunflora, you gotta move. You gotta make way for somebody who can actually, you know, uh, damage this. Oh yeah, no, Stu, yeah, I figured that out as I was reading about a lot of the stuff they- as I was realizing how many people they were bringing back and some of the stuff they were doing. Yeah, that's absolutely why. At some point they realized, oh shit, we're stealing Zord footage from a show with fucking 10 Zords or 13 Zords or some nonsense like that. Yet we only have five Rangers. <laughs> They technically have they technically have six, but because they demoted Zito for some fucked up reason and didn't even bother to give him a real color <laughs> to make up for him not being red anymore. I don't know what the fuck Zord they're gonna have him pilot, if any. But yeah, best I agree. Like so that's what that's what I'm saying. Like there's nothing necessarily inherently wrong about having a new guy show up to be the secondary or whatever. It's just that that was dead ass all we had for a good for a good chunk of seasons there. Also, I said I said um I said uh, decay through drive before no because Gaim didn't. That's right. Gaim, we had Kaito from the start. We should watch Linkara's History of Power Rangers of Dino Fury for After Dark if people feel like it. Especially if we can finish Devil Survivor today. Oh, I wouldn't mind watching that tomorrow. And just switch. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh, wait. Oh. I'm dumb. Got to rescue somebody. It's good with focusing just on the cast. Just the crossover episodes, yeah. Yeah, I cannot stress enough, like the Dino Fury cast, the characters themselves, I really like I really like them even just based on like the first six episodes or whatever I watched. You guys have fun with that video secret. <laughs> what, you don't you don't like listening to a pleasant Minnesota man talk about Power Rangers for hours at a time? How dare you? When you watch Forza, you legit thought Kenga was gonna be meteor, yeah. Yeah, I distinctly I, I distinctly remember when Build was airing. Like because that had been such a trend for a long time, because everybody immediately loved Bonjo so much, people were like really, really genuinely scared. People were like literally starting prayer circles for uh for Bonjo to uh to be the secondary. And for them not to pull some random new guy out of their asses. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> Your mom is also telling you to sleep early, even though you're 26, rip.
the actor for Dino Fury Reds is like a pretty cool dude because when his suit was revealed, he was cool about people memeing it and kind of joined in. Yeah, yeah, he seems cool. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's just a shame. It's just a damn shame that like the Mighty Morphin effect is what it is and has just poisoned the potential for future stories. They're just too afraid to ever, like, put any real effort into anything that isn't in some way connected to Mighty Morphin. Because that's the moneymaker. Imagine if Fuwa and Yaiba never henched for half the show and fucking Guy appeared earlier. Oh, God, that's cursed. Yeah. Yep, that's a, I, I was talking about that when I talked to my friend Philip for the first time in a while the other day. I was kind of telling him a little bit about Don Brothers, and, and we were talking talking a little bit about Power Rangers and whatnot. And I just and like he asked me if I thought that that the, the Don Brothers could ever be adapted because he was kind of curious about it. And I just said, nope, <laughs> never ever. <laughs> they will never ever ever do that because they are cowards. God, I don't, I don't know what the next uh, sub goal or whatever is going to be in terms of like content I'll do, but I will tell you that the next, um, the next thing that the money from it will be used for is to get new headphones. Cause good God, I think I've mentioned that mine are currently falling apart. It is making, uh, it is making the one ear that's falling apart very uncomfortable. At a point where like all the foam is starting to peel back and everything. Just, ugh, gross. On a completely unrelated note, now that the uh, the PC stuff is mostly done, I have uh, remerged the uh, my uh, my Amazon wish list. Oh God, earthquake! I made it so that uh, everything's on uh on just uh, like one supply list now. It's like computer parts, recording supplies, all the same thing at this point. Yes, it's settled down. There's been a lot of earthquakes lately. I wonder what could be causing it. It's almost like there's a giant ground monster that's been literally shaking the earth that we're supposed to be stopping. Or Alakazam and them are supposed to be stopping. Oh, finally awake. No, there was another earthquake earlier, right? What am I going to do to build it? I am going to ask Ian if he still wants to for me. Because he had, because I had asked him before and he said sure. But, I, but, but who knows <laughs> if the stuff changes or not. I will ask Ian uh, if he doesn't feel like it or can't for whatever reason, like within a timely manner, then I will um, ask my uh, my cousin, who lives like an hour away. Hey! Oh, hey, Lombre. What's up? Why's your voice change? We need you at the square. Everyone's gathering there. Is something wrong? I'm not really sure. Shiftry's calling everyone out. He's getting the other rescue teams to come. Nova, let's go! Unless Power Rangers decides to do a dire injury and only use the swords, yeah. I'm thinking they might do that, actually. Because current rumbling suggests that um, after Cosmic Fury, Hasbro was doing like a complete reboot of the show. I don't know how extensive a reboot that's going to be. I don't know if that's going to involve like just not using Sentai footage anymore, period. Like has been rumored for a while. Or if... um. Or if they'll just do Zord footage, or what would happen? But yeah, like I think some, I think there's gonna be a huge paradigm shift of some kind after a cosmic story. Yeah, my co yeah, my cousins built a bunch of them. My aunt was telling me about it when um when we went there for uh for Christmas. I saw I saw his. <laughs> my cousin's got a nice ass hangout room. 
I saw his PC in there that he apparently built. It's a really nice one. So yeah, he seems to know what he's doing. What's happening? Looks like they sent out a lot of, um, sent out a lot of rescue teams for help. I've seen some pretty famous leaders from faraway places. That Shifri, I wonder what he's planning to do with all these rescue teams. Can I get everyone's attention here? I, uh, not my style to get up in front of everyone like this and, uh, sorry. This is the time for that. There's big trouble. Alakazam's team went underground, but they haven't returned. What? Is that true? Yes, unfortunately. Alakazam led his team underground to quell Groudon. And that's it. We haven't heard anything from them since then. To be honest, we have no idea what became of them. No idea. Rabble, 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 rabble. How is that possible? This is Alakazam you're talking about. But they haven't come back. That's for real? That's right. It sounds like Groudon is out of our league. With that tough, this Pokemon named Groudon? Why don't you go underground and see for yourself? You gotta be kidding me. So I'll start getting built once I get the storage. Yep, yep, you got it. And, wa and once the, uh, the GPU's actually here. Yeah, you weren't here for a fest, but for whatever reason, the GPU isn't, uh, the ETA. <laughs> the shipping time on the GPU <laughs> is like, uh, is like a month. <laughs> Even though it shipped and sold from Amazon, like, I don't have Prime. I guess that's part of the problem, but yeah. Uh, right now my delivery date is not until March 29th. So yeah, as soon as that arrives, and, uh, I assume, I, I, knock on wood. I know people have already spent a shit ton of money on me lately, but, um... Should be able to get the storage before then. Magma flowing underground! It'll burn up if I went anywhere with that! Quiet down! Please be quiet! There's no denying you that it's, that it's dangerous underground. It's not a place where just anyone can go. That's why I asked so many of the rescue teams to gather today. I suppose the special team can be formed by choosing the best of the best. Who will step forward? Who among us will be the heroes to take on the challenges underground? Hey Nova, this is some chance. Let's go for it! Don't bother you guys. What's with you? Why try to stop us? You guys have gotten a lot tougher, that's for sure, but there's plenty tougher Pokemon out there. Who oh, will- will no one step forward? Oh go. I hate Blastoise. B-b-b-b-b-blastoise! You mean Team Hydra's Roughneck Blastoise? That's a rough rider's roll, roll, roll. Water spouts on his back can rocket water so fast that it punches right through iron plates! The King Ocean suits look busy, but it looks perfect for a Power Rangers adaptation. I agree, yeah. If they are going to keep using Sentai footage, that'd be a good one. The same the same way I say Saber would be a very a very smart choice for an adaptation. <laughs> Just because uh like they're unique, they're colorful, they get, there's a lot of them. They've got that same vibe going on. It's rumored that Groudon is a ground type. You don't say. I'm a water type. I'm strong against ground types. My hydro pump will put Groudon and down in one shot. Now join the party too. Woo! Foxtillery! I hate Venusaur as well. <laughs> I hate all three of the final forms of the Kanto starters. I don't think any of them look good. Charizard looks okay, but... Society has ruined him. Oh, it's a girl artillery. She's known for persistent and clingy attacks. She ensnares foes with her tentacles, then headbutts them. She'd be a nasty face of any battle of endurance. Darlings, when I see a tough Pokemon, I want to tangle with them. Say, how about not forgetting me? Dude, you're a rock type. It'll wreck your shit. He's the most brutal out of Team Rumble Rock. Body is rock car. You're supposed to be able to withstand huge explosions without taking damage. Bro, you're fucking dumb. Groudon's waking underground. That suits me just fine. I'll use my rock through to keep it buried. Oh, blast with artillery and golem. No one can complain about this election. We'll have these three rescuers head underground. And before I have to do another fucking three fetch quest with nothing, and then get scared when they don't return and have to do the whole thing again. Yeah, good choice. You're representing us. Make us proud. Let's go. Win it for us. Save Alakazam's team. Imagine if they use Saber as a range of that. think it was a weird Sentai season. See, they look pretty tough, huh? Let them handle these. Okay, guess we can't really say anything, Nova. 
Wish we could have gone too, but that's just too bad. Well, we'll let them take care of things. We'll keep giving it our best and rescue her. Then I don't. I always think about that wonderful brief moment in history where we had hope when um when they accidentally used uh used footage from uh wizard because it was because it had a crossover with Kyoryuger. <laughs> a full whopping two seconds of common rider wizard appearing in a cro in a uh, promo clip for dino charge oh good times I have enough money if I take some out of the bank. Should I buy one of these super expensive ones? And if so, which one? Any advice from people who actually know what they're doing? Saber could absolutely pass as a Power Ranger season. As could Wizard. I think I've talked about this before, too. I, I used to joke with my friends back when I watched Wizard with them at one point that if, how if they, uh, they ever tried to adapt it. They would, um, they would just take all of Haruto's, uh, alternate gem forms and, like, try to have them be separate characters and make, like, a team out of it. God, this entire episode is really just gonna be me... Doing random things while a once in a while plot happens. Okay. Would that mean the evil ranger team would be the mages? That'd be funny. If they were going to adapt it in that way, that'd be a really funny way to do it. If I want to end early, I can. Like I said, I'm probably going to end relatively early. I've only been going for an hour and a half. It just feels like it's already been three hours. <laughs> so we're going to keep going at least a little bit longer. I'll try to get to one more plot. I will try to get to the inevitable... I will try to get to the inevitable thing where, um... <laughs> where they're like, oh no, it's been three days and the other other team hasn't come back. I'll try to get to that. I assume that's where we're going with this. One whole plot. And unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be the very best plot. But dum -ch. Very best plot is a uh, is a pod lord on the uh, on the Gigaboots podcast now. I cracked up hearing his name at the end of the, uh, at the end of, at the end of Chugging Bleach. It was like, yo, I know that guy. <laughs> Traitor. No, he's, no. Come on. I love the Giga Boots guy's work. And if I had the funds, I'd be, I, if, if I had the funds, I'd probably be a pod lord too. <laughs> he's allowed. Listen to Big Think? I do not, actually. That's the one of their podcasts I do not actually really listen to. I should. It's it's mostly just the fact that I play so few games that, like... Like, I've tried to listen to it a couple of times, and, like, half the stuff they talk about I don't really know anything about. People are allowed to like other people. <laughs> it's a good podcast to keep up with gaming news, yeah. Yeah, I probably should start listening to it regularly. You wish Plot came in for streams or watches? He seems like a fun guy. He came in for a couple of watches. He watched some Freak here with us. Back when we did, um... Uh, what's it called? Um... The Space Freak here. Whatever this, whatever the space precure was, 
<laughs> he was he was he uh he watched a little bit of that with us. I also think he's been he's done some uh some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff with uh Monado Infusion. Star Twinkle, that's it, thank you. But yeah, he's around. It's just it's just that he it's just that he actually has a life or whatever and also watches way more than just me as a content creator. Yeah, he popped up in a tech tone video at one point as well. Oh, wait there. There we go. Yeah, that was back before Best decided he hated Precure and actually would tune up and kind of tr try to pay attention to it. <laughs> what name should you give your gamer season? Like, the overall title. Hmm. Australia. Oh, yeah, he is also Australian now. Yeah. yeah, that's very true. I'm torn between I I'm torn between between genuinely trying and and then <laughs> and thinking and then thinking of stuff that just sounds stupid. <laughs> like game and good instead of healing good game and good precure. <laughs> hmm. I said, you know, I say that, but a lot of Freak Your titles actually sound quite silly. So, who know? Remember that time healing good Freak Your wasn't actually about healing people? Good God, Squirtle! Do you know Chuck? Who's worse, the useless dog or not Orihime? Oh my god! Oh no! Oh Jesus! <laughs> I can't answer that! <laughs> I can't answer that! I think they might be the same character now that you pointed it out! Like, cause how do they solve their problems? They don't. They cry about it. <laughs> oh no. Next level. That's actually pretty cool. That's also a sick Kabuto reference. I actually think that's almost fine in its own right. Delicious party. Delicious party is a very silly name. Now I need a Photoshop of Marina with the with that goddamn dog. <laughs> or a meme that or a meme that's like corporate needs you to find the difference between these two pictures. They're the same picture. Oh no, I just realized something. Oh no. Guys. I have to figure out how to do a title card of me as a Leer. Probably just have it beat my head off her body. Oh god. But the dog. <laughs> I know you're probably talking about that dumb looking dog from Engage, but my first thought was the dog from Precure. We were just talking about it. <laughs> like, what does that have to do with Engage? You know what? I don't care. Good doing it. 
a very mad looking gnome instead of cool. Yo! Hello! Go ahead. RGB problem solved? I don't know about that, man. Pouring Colgate on my head. I can't do that. That's what Tom Fox did for his thumbnail. <laughs> Tom Fox's thumb thumbnail is a Valir pouring toothpaste on his head. <laughs> sisters watch any more JoJo on her own. I told her I'd watch it with her if she doesn't want to watch it alone. Just my avatar reluctantly holding the rabbit tank bottle? <laughs> Though that could be funny too. <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> Yeah, instead of drawing myself as Colgate Channel, draw myself as Kamen Rider Paradox. There we go. We got it. Spice Girls pose with Martha's my stand! Oh, that could also be funny. Oh my god. Has she gotten to Pedophile Gorilla? No, she has not. I only watched the first three episodes with her. I don't know if she's watched any more since then on her own. She is a long way off from Pedophile Gorilla. It's fucked up. I also, um, while we were watching it, I learned that uh, if uh, if you try to just go to JoJo, like the entire series on Netflix, it starts to autoplay the first episode of, of, of Part 6. I was like, Jolene, no! We got a ways to go. Stone Ocean of Season 1 for some reason. Well, because it's the one they made. They're removing JoJo from certain countries. Oof. That sucks. You, you forgot I was talking about JoJo. <laughs> I was talking about Kamashita. You could also call him a pedophile, uh, a pedophile gorilla. He's very hairy. But yeah, once again, I, I, I forget if we have. I, I don't think we have that many people in here when I brought it up before. But yeah, once again, anybody has any ideas or, or uh, recommendations for like a uh, 150 or 200 sub goal? By uh, by all means. This one, what about it? What is? Is that Trish? A weird looking Trish. Ari Marathon, that was one idea, like I said. I was thinking about either um, having it be like the Fire Emblem or Resident Evil Marathon. 
since those were plans we had um oh for a thumbnail oh i gotcha i gotcha so in, in that in that pose but with me and mar <laughs> maybe i'll see what i can do Every SMT game I haven't played? Oh god. <laughs> oh god, that would mean that would mean the older ones though. That would mean uh Exactly yeah, do I really want to play SMT one? No. No, not really. <laughs> You know, if I if I do ever play those older ones, it's gonna have to be a like one at a time thing, like I did for Persona 2. Like I'll have to do one and then a power gap. On that note, this is a ways off, but I do think I also want to try doing some kind of marathon just in general. Not not as any kind of goal, but just like in general. The same the same way King uh, KZ does his uh, Kingdom Hearts marathon every year. I'd like to do something like that. I don't know what month and I don't know what game series. But I think it'd be cool. FE marathon might be more fitting. It'd also be easier since most of those are going to be emulated. Cure one up as a name. <laughs> as a name for what? <laughs> Persona, but only the main three. Oh, for your fanfic. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty cute, actually. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought of something like that, but yeah, that's actually a cute idea. As a month theme thing, yeah. Like just for, for for one month marathon some franchise. Could could be the three could be the three uh modern personas. I know we talked about Xenoblade at one point. Xenoblade uh Xenoblade could be really interesting to do as well. Oh man, they did nothing. I'm so surprised. So many lately. Wonder when they'll settle down. They when the, when we kill Groudon. No, but there's a commotion down in the square. One up heart pre cure. Oh, that's cute. Oh, yo, that's perfect. I like that a lot. A lot of Pokemon are gathered. Let's go to the square now. Are we in hell? It's not too bad today. It's a little obnoxious that there's been like no plot. It's basic. It it has just been a string of like, hey, do these quests until stuff happens. No, no plot dungeons. Hey, Lombre, what's up there? M Mikey, well, uh... You should just go see for yourself. Depends, that means I'm finally gonna play X. I don't think I can play X. I mean, I, I could theoretically d dig my Wii U out of cold storage. It's somewhere upstairs. And, uh, try and find a physical copy or, may or uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know if the eShop's closed yet or not. I don't think it is. But uh no, I think it I think it would have to I think it has to wait for a switch port, which I do think will happen at some point. I still believe. I just also unfortunately believe that it's not gonna happen for a while, but it's no marathon! <laughs> it doesn't count if it's only the three numbered ones. Look, it's Blastoise and the others! They got their shit wrecked! Shifri, what's going on here? They were wiped out! The underground dungeon! You're kidding! <laughs> That place. It's rough, seriously. We couldn't get far enough to see Groudon. I don't ever want to go back to that place again. Underground? Far worse than we imagined. <laughs> what fools? Hey, try, that's what you get for trying the impossible. 
Gengar, what are you talking about? Why don't you shut the fuck up? This is about Alex saving Alexan's team. We have to try. <laughs> You're really thinking hard, ain't ya? They look smart compared to you. It's still my cheap and blast voice went down. It's gotta be awful tough. Who'd wanna go into a dungeon that dangerous? There's no way I can go. I burn too easily. I can't take earthquakes. Dude. Like, two of you are grass types. You'd resist ground and be effective against him. You're fucking dumb. Every mainline Final Fantasy would be in interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> Feel like going and knowing full well we got we, that we get wiped. Everyone. You see, they seem to finally understand their situation. My leafy fans would burn up. Even Shiftry. Do I want to play Final Fantasy 1? Not particularly, but I know I will. I know I'm going to have to at some point. That's another marathon I've thought about. Is every Final Fantasy. Because I know KZ's been doing that. Get over it. Don't expect to be rewarded just because you're tired. Sometimes it's better to wise up and give up. He who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. Eh? Did I say something profound? Kick, 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 kick. Yeah. Nova, I don't know anymore. What should we do? Even if it's impossible, should we still try and rescue Alakazam? Yes. Please. Th yes, you're right. All right, Nova. Everyone listen. We're gonna rescue Alakazam's team. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did they say? <laughs> hey, who are they? Can't say I know them. He had his party of death in the Giga Boots crew. Oh, that's right, you name your party members in that one. It's Team Zippermon. They're well known around these parts. Team Zippermon, yeah, they've done lots of fetch quests. And they went and learned about the Ninetales legend and shit. I heard about that. They were also like wanted fugitives until recently. That was literally like six days ago, dude. Can they handle it? They don't look very tough. Sure, the rescue might be a bit too much for us to handle, but we're still a rescue team. I wanted to help Pokemon that were suffering from natural disasters. That's why we started our rescue team. That's why we have to rescue Alakazam's team more than anything. Never giving up, that's what Team Zippermon takes pride in. <laughs> you really aren't very bright, are you? Why don't you do like everyone else and wise up? No, Mikey's right. <laughs> How? Why have we not run him out of town? Motherfucking fearmonger. That's right, I wasn't thinking straight. Of course. <laughs> Oh my god, they're beautiful! Ah! 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 Dusk, why do you do this to me? Look at them! Look at those gays! Ah! 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 Oh, they look so good! God fucking damn it! You have four important things to do, like scream over right worth figures. Pride. We have it too. Pride is rescuers. Have <laughs> you lost your senses? Why would you listen to that clown and worse be persuaded? Why go if you're facing certain defeat? Is that so? We've only failed once. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. Blastoise! No time to be lying around. <laughs> yes, no more wallowing in woe is me self-pity. If we give up, that's how it ends. Not for me. Artillery and Golem, too. <laughs> that wasn't the tune you were singing just a while ago. Yeah, that's right. Let's positive thinking. If we pull together, we'll be sure to find a way out. Fuck high school musical, nobody cares. We'll conquer the dungeon and shit. That's how it goes, right? Are you dreaming? Then I warn you when you get into world of pain. Gengar's gonna say the N-word one of these days, and I'm gonna be really, really angry with him. Thank you, Mikey. He stopped us from throwing away one of the uh, most important thing we have, pride. Many thanks from all of us. 
everyone. Time to get to work. Let's show them what rescue teams are really all about. Woo! That held up for the trouble we had with Gengar. Now we're finally off to the underground dungeon. I know we're not leaving till tomorrow, but I'm like buzzing with excitement. We should spend today getting ready. Let me know when you're ready to roll. Solving a dispute with a friend, need a second opinion. Which kaiju name sounds better? King Joe or Zetan? Zetan? Or Zetan? How, however you, whichever way you pronounce it, that one. All right, so what do you want? Ready to roll? Not yet. King Joe. The only way J King Joe would be cooler is if the Joe in question was the one from Double Survivor. He's my hot Ferrari. I'm guessing nobody still knows what camp I should buy next. Because I would like to buy some before I go in there. Because I'm now terrified about losing my or losing all my sh all, all my stuff. Then again, gonna take out everything I have and see. Who managed the money? Oh, Persian stuff. God damn it. I wish I just knew what the next area was. Uh, whatever. I'll just keep it all with me. It's not like I'm even using the recruiting function this much. I'm pretty happy with my team right now. All right. No guarantees we'll finish this tonight, depending on how long it is, but whatever. Let's at least go. Transform and roll out. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm in that dream again. Guard of War. It's tomorrow, isn't it? That you take to that underground dungeon. Yeah. They make it sound awful. I wonder if we'll be okay. You will be fine. I am certain that you will succeed, Nova. You have my support. Please, go with strength. I will. Thanks. Feel a little braver now. I'll go for it. By the way, Art of War, do you know what it's like underground? Or if Raudon's really a dick? No, I'm sorry to say. I cannot envision it. Cool. I thought maybe you knew something and that's why you and something the way you said it. No, I just wanted to give you your encouragement. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, it's cool. I'm happy you tried to cheer me up though, thanks. There is one thing I can foresee. Hmm? Your role is coming to its end little by little. My role? Is ending? 
You became a Pokemon in order to fulfill a certain role, and that role brought you here. Now that role is finally drawing to its conclusion. Tell me, did you sail across the sun? Did you make it to the Milky Way? What's my role? Why did I become a Pokemon? When the time comes, I think I can tell you when this adventure is finished. Au revoir. Does that mean this is the last dungeon? At least in terms of, like, the main story or whatever? I know there's post-game stuff, but... Good morning, Nova. Get a good night's sleep. This is it. Let's give it our best shot and rescue Alakazam. I'm not giving away my shot. Gardevoir said she'll tell me everything when the adventure is over. Is going to the underground the end of the adventure or not? She'll tell me with the rest of Alakazam's team. Hey! What are you stunned? Let's go already. Oh no, it's covered in liquid hot magma. What was the point of making it a big decision whether or not to continue or not? <laughs> when, um... When I can still, uh, go and grind other places, apparently. Whatever. What? I don't know if that's going to mean a lot of fire type Pokemon in here. It would, would seem like it, in which case maybe Pump might not be a bad might not be a good idea. We're going to sub out Pump for the Absol. streams of lava wouldn't surprise me if the dungeon is scorching hot. Other rescue teams should already be inside. Let's get in there and do our best. Do your best. Do your best. Me, me, me. Right off the bat. It's a rat. The beefy rat. Hailing in Texas? Outstanding. Andrew, you want to come with? Sure. Not a camp for him. If anybody know, knows how many floors this place is, I would appreciate it. We find a uh, find a place for this boy to stay before we leave. P 
people die in Yuna dances. When will she stop dancing? I have no idea why that's such a meme all of a sudden, but can I just say how happy it makes me? Always nice to see Final Fantasy X get some love and recognition. Why is a Nidoking tankier than a fucking Raticate? Or why- vice versa. Why- why was a fucking Raticate tankier than a Nidoking? Good god. Because fuck you. Well. Okay, fair enough. Understandable. Have a nice day. Okay, real talk. The way they described it, I assumed Flame Burst would also have... When it said damages Pokemon around the enemy, I assumed it meant it would damage my enemies, so that it was a trade-off type of thing. The fact that it apparently doesn't... It's just big dick AoE damage only against the enemies, because it didn't seem to hurt anyone there. That's busted. You have penny size hail, good god. Outstanding. orbs work. I kept those over the seeds because I assumed it would be better. But I guess that name is uh more strictly literal than I thought it would than I thought it was. Unless I have to select it. Okay, alright. Okay. Alright, alright, fair, fine. Sure. That's fair, I guess. Since what I, I am assuming the name is, I, I, once again, assuming the name is literal, I'm assuming it will revive everybody. So situationally, you may want to hold off on using it until two are dead. That's why it didn't even give me the option, probably. Fair enough. Have an apple. Want to come with me? Hell yeah. Rare quality, throw an item boost, kind of useless for me. No camp, but that's okay.
look at how much money I have. I can. I'm gonna go ahead and call Wigglytuff now. Before I get into some old bullshit. And just buy a camp for, uh, for both of these guys. Unless they both need the same one. In which case, I'll just fucking flip a coin and guess what, what place might be useful. Finally done with DS Quest tonight. And again, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm genuinely pissed hers was as good as it was. Oh, it would it would have been so easy to just pass this patch by in contentment if she'd uh, if her quest had also been awful on top of all the other problems going on with her. But nope, she has the gall to actually be a genuinely really really good character and have a really good story quest. One of the best we've had in a while. So fuck me. Who else do I have with me? I had a Relicanth and a Sandshrew. Where the fuck does Sandshrew go? I'm 90% sure that it said he can't stay anywhere yet. So I know I don't have it. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and just do this one. This area certainly doesn't seem very foresty. And again, does that even- ah, fuck, whatever, just do it. I would rather do this just in case something terrible happens and I lose all my money. And we'll do one more cheaper one, why not? And now I get to get mad if I come across something really cool and don't have the money for it. Very good system. Ten out of ten. rude. <laughs> Gee! 
Jesus! Fuck is that? Lunatown? I think it was a Lunatown. What you got, secret? Lord knows I need something to talk about. <laughs> Yo! Al Hatham with the ponytail? Oh, that's important. That's very important. This is relevant to my interest. Boy. All right, this is where I get mad. This Lunatone's gonna be so grateful that it's gonna join my party. It's gonna be like, oh, you don't have a camp for it to stay at. <laughs> That, I, I almost bought that one. If that's the same, if that's the same one where Clefairy can go, I almost bought that one just because I was like, oh, I like Clefairy. I wouldn't mind getting one, but Clefairy's not going to be around, so I won't get it right now. If this motherfucker can stay in there, where to God? Is there a way to like check? Camps, even when I'm not in them. I think so. It doesn't matter, I know what juggler looks like. But there's also nothing to talk about. Because I don't know anything about him other than that. Uh, other, I don't know anything about him other than what he looks like and that he's Fujo, babe. Who is Fuga Fuja Bait? Jugulus Jugler. Jugulus Juggler, however however you say his name. That guy from Ultraman, I don't know which one. Orb, I think, maybe. Maybe yeah. lots of hungry people in here, so I'll just hold off. There's a big apple. Yo, Magmar! Boober! I tried to adopt your little brother, Booby, and was denied. Because of poorly thought out game mechanics. A monster house is the dangerous room where a bunch of enemies appear. 
There are a bunch of traps too, so watch your step. I wanted to hit with that. Okay. Magmar, you want to come with me? That's great! will come in. Little Witch Academia is 10 years old. Good God, that does not feel like it should be possible. My God. Shout out to that revive all orb also healing um all my uh, my guest party members. Did not think it would be that generous. Time to be running out of pee pee! You got pee pee? Give me that pee pee! I have referenced Mr. Toilet Man way too many times for any healthy human being. What is the healthy amount of times to reference Mr. Toilet Man? Zero. Monster House and it sounds like Castlevania music or some shit, my god. I don't know why I do it so drama! Nah! I was abused by it as a kid. <laughs> that explains the mob. Yeah. For, the, for those not for those not up up on up to date on all the hot lore, Mr. Toilet Man is just a uh, a bit from a uh, from a, uh, a 90s comedy movie starring John Travolta and Kirstie Alley called Look Who's Talking. Actually, wait, Mr. Toilet Man's is the sequel, I think. Yeah, it is. And uh, in the uh, se second movie, they're trying to toilet train the kid. And like one of his uh, one of his friends at school tells him like, yeah, no, you don't, no, you don't want to use the toilet. Mr. Toilet Man lives in there. And then there's just a sequence where he hallucinates Mr. Toilet Man talking to him. It's just a, it's just a toilet with teeth. Who talks about wanting to, <laughs> who's demanding the kid beat him or whatever. <laughs> I did, I did make Mr. Toilet Man the thumbnail for an episode of Revice, that is correct. Good memory.
Alright, I think it's safe to, uh, bring back everyone now. I do have one more of these, right? I do. My last one. So I need to be very, very careful. Actually, you know what? I I'm gonna hold off. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna hold off in case we get mobbed by something stupid. Or alternatively, just wait until we, um... Wait until we find some regular revives and use those. Oh, granted, I won't be able to. That's right. I'll, I'll, I will actually only be able to bring it back now. If I do that. That's fine. I cannot believe we got out of that. Literally only was able to get out of that because of those revival orbs. Just take it for now, Mike. again. Fine. If you simp for Nalto, does that make you pansexual? No, it just makes you Nalto sexual. That's what Kanji actually is. Like, oh, Kanji's gay, or no, Kanji's straight, or they straight washed him. Nah, the correct answer is he's just Nalto sexual. Pansexual, there you go. Ha 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 ha. You're fine, Mike. Maywile. Interesting. <laughs> Criminally offensive side eye. I wish I knew how many floors this place was. Survivor seed. Now the only question is whether or not I want to use that or just use the seed for Absol. I also had a crap ton of party members who could come in handy. But now that I know that that's a thing that can happen. Oh, right, shit, that's right, it's, 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 it doesn't matter. 
actually does not matter, I forgot. Alright, then yeah. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is just not use that at all. And, uh, wait until as many people have died that I'm comfortable losing. So if either all my tag-alongs or, uh, my gear Torchic go. That's when I'll crack it. Ah, he's fine. Sorry, Maywow. Is Pokemon still gay? A little bit. Just a little bit. Back for a mini break, Pump. Pump, I ran into a monster house and wasted all my revive orbs. No one has told me how many floors this place has. I would love to know. Finally. <laughs> well, just to make sure I don't completely lose my shit, I guess I have no choice. Okay, well, that's why you hate that dungeon. And I don't know why, if it's that common, I don't know why I didn't get it. Very lucky, apparently, since everybody was everybody was like, oh, I have bad memories of this. Oh, what? Oh, it's only if they died on the same floor, isn't it? Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, my God. Oh, there goes my mob. Yeah, that place was hell. Literally only got through it because I had, like, four revive orbs. And now they're all gone. So yay. speedrun running. This place is like 24 to 26 floors. Good God. Is this place the final dungeon or not? Penultimate, second to last. Okay. I'll take it. Jesus Christ.
I was gonna say, yeah, I might not finish this tonight, but <laughs> I keep thinking I've been going for like two hours longer than I actually have. The game, this game feels like being in purgatory <laughs> more often than not. Just gotta be honest on that one. Not a game for long stretches, yeah, like I just I just don't find the gameplay that enjoyable. This Pokemon light more often than not. Like mainline Pokemon has its share of flaws, especially the last couple of entries, but I will happily take mainline Pokemon gameplay over this. It's very tedious. Oh, hey, a Soul Rock! Think this one will do me a solid and not die? Jesus Christ, that's so strong. My cargo itself is so weak. <laughs> but without that move, I can just clean my entire goddamn house. Now we're fine. I say that, but... Yeah, yeah, this is apparently the second to last dungeon, so that's at least good. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we can go do that. We need more teammates. That's the only. That's the other only reason we survived the monster house was because I, I I entered it with a shit ton of party members. And if I would realized I had to revive them on the same floor, I probably would have popped the orb there instead. Because that was incredibly helpful. Just having the raw numbers. Do I only have big apples, motherfucker? Wait there. Let me see if I can find a smaller one to not waste it. What did I think of the Power Rangers 2017 suits? They weren't the worst thing in the world, but they also weren't very good. <laughs> they were... They have the same problem as a lot of superhero costumes have at, had after Tron Legacy and the New 52 bullshit. Where it's just like, oh, and, oh, okay. Uh, instead of actually redesigning something or making it good, let's just add a bunch of lines to it. Let's just put extra lines everywhere to make it seem more complex than it actually is. And I get it, my art style is shit and I have extra lines everywhere, but that's just because I'm terrible and rarely bother to clean up my line art properly. Oh no. Oh no, I'm out of the fucking seeds again, motherfucker. Clean up the ones you I you commissioned pump. Well those are commissions. I have to make sure those are at least a little clean. God, I'm only halfway through. down a bird. Very unfortunate. Oh, this will help a little. You still only have big ones, motherfucker. Alright, fine. It's your lucky day! I 
Of course there's not. Of course there's nowhere I can put you. Did Abranger have a pink? It had a pink. She was like a, uh... She, she was just like a fangirl. Or I, I think she was like a character who was like their assistant or something. I, I forget exactly who she was. It was a, it was a, it was a previously established character who was just like, Oh, I want to be an Abba Ranger. I want to fight with you. And so she like made her own costume that was ve and it, very obviously a homemade costume. And uh, based it off of a pig and called herself Abba Red Pink. Or Ava Pink or whatever. They did the same thing with Shinken Brown. You uh, know, in Shinkenger. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, they referenced her in Go Kaiser. Uh, he actually transformed into her, I think. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, fine, might as well. It seems like a waste to do it for guest party members or whatever, but... Like, I am down a bird. I am down a bird and need all the help I can get. I don't know, I don't know how common or uncommon those monster houses are. But if we run into another one in this place, then we're fucked. What is this place? There's a slot in the door. It says, Welcome to the Captivating Mystery House. Insert your invitation to enter. The fuck's an invitation? I apparently can't do this. I'm going to assume that this is the equivalent of a golden hand floor in Persona 3. I'm likewise going to assume that there's nothing I can do if I don't have an invitation. <laughs> Gamrick's looking it up. Okay. 
Persona 3 or Persona 4? Persona 3 had those. I don't believe that was... Or wait, was it a thing in... It, it may have been a thing in Golden. It definitely wasn't a thing in Vanilla P4, I don't think. But P4 Golden may have had the Gold Hand 4s. There are rare treasures inside, and Pokemon will ask to join the team. That sounds wonderful. Unfortunately, no turtles allowed. I'm going to I'm going to assume that there's like an that you, like you have to get the item for it somehow too, and that that's probably a rare drop or some shit. In which case, this is unfortunately useless. It's in the shop, okay. Yeah, so it's just a thing that shows up that I have to buy. The random, outstanding, great, grand, wonderful, great game design. Absolutely fantastic, laddie! So it's a random floor with, I assume, a pretty low chance of appearing that you need a key to actually use, which also has a rare chance of appearing. Good job. You thought that one through. I'm proud of this, honestly. Yes, now we are a family. That's some Genshin Impact here, shit. That's what we call RNG on top of RNG. That's some artifact farming bullshit. Like, okay. So, it's ra it's random which, um... It's random which type of artifact you'll get. It's random which piece of that set you'll get. And it's random what stat will be on it. All you have to do is win three coin tosses in a row. Except the coin has five sides. Easy, right? And speaking of shops, that looks like it might be one over there. Nope. Nope. Can't do it again. We were lucky to get through it once. Sub. Unfortunately, I think you may have caught in stream just in time for me to die and probably rage quit for the evening. <laughs> Monster houses. They're a thing now. <sighs> so I was thinking about this because last time I was like, you know, this is actually a pretty good system. Except, wait a minute, I thought in my head about it. I never got to voice it on stream because I thought about it afterwards, but I was like, oh, wait a minute. That was good in that situation when I used it last. But what happens when I'm in a goddamn dungeon with fucking 20 floors? I'm gonna have to go through the entire dungeon again. With a shitty-ass subpar team.
I can't even be like, let's. I'll just bring all my water types. I don't have any fucking water types. Outstanding. Immaculate game design right here. Yo, Blanco, I'm gonna stab myself in the face with a soldering iron. How are you on this fine evening? Yeah, it's just 20 floors with a shitty team. What could go wrong? Support's done an awakening. I'm happy for you. Hey, best. Is pump a good idea for the fire dungeon? It's all I have! Because this game's recruitment system is fucking ass, I don't have any other water type. I literally have no better options without level grinding. Which I definitely ain't fucking doing. So I'm going to try a rescue mission, and if it fails, then I will rage quit and have to start the whole thing over with my A-team. Which I probably should just do, because I'm effectively starting over anyway, and I don't think I'm going to be able to clear it with this team. When am I be when am I gonna stop for the night? As soon as this team inevitably dies. So very soon. Because I'm out of revival items again. Go back to an easier part of the game to collect Spidey Boy. I'll do that, probably. Ugh. I don't even know where I don't even know I don't I don't think I've seen a single spinner rack. I don't know where he hangs out. There was an area dose, that's right. I think yeah, I think I saw an area dose, but no spinner rack. So what happens when this team also dies? Will I get the option to just accept, accept the fact that I've eaten shit and uh, get my team back? And restart from the beginning with the A team? Setting it a third team? I'm not going to do that, though, because it's pointless. <laughs> As long as I have to restart from the beginning every time anyway, and I have no other decent party members. Then there's no point. I would just be slowly but surely sending everybody I everybody in the barracks to their death. Like right now. Not going out of my way for items, obviously. But one's right there, might as well. Send them to the trenches. Prove their worth. Nah. Because it's just a waste of time. Like, it's not even a matter of, like, no, they deserve to die. Like, it's, it's literally a waste of time. 
like nothing will be accomplished by doing that. The only way sending a rescue team in would be effective is, like I said, if I uh, raise up a team that can actually survive down here. And I'm not doing that. Because this game has squandered any goodwill it had. <laughs> No, 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 fuck it. No, I'm not doing that. You're playing Persona 4, you lucky son of a bitch. I wish I was playing Persona 4 instead of this nonsense. Spent time trying to get every Persona in one dungeon just to complete the compendium, but you have shit luck. You're level 36 and only just beat the first dungeon sub. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, I've done, I, I've done that. Hung out in the first dungeon way longer just to get all the demons, or uh, personas. I've never gotten to level 36 doing that. Man, we ain't shit! We should go back to the square. What, was I not supposed to be able to beat that? <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the square and gather information. All right, where's Spinarak at? We'll get we'll get a Spinarak for sub. Cause I don't want to play this game anymore right now after that nonsense. Silent Chasm floor six through nine. Okay, sounds good. Let's just go take care of that then. And then I'll just call it an early one. Oh hey, oh hey, it's <laughs> it's the it's the place with all the uh, the, the free revives. I should probably do that, but again, nah. <laughs> Fuck this game right now. So nah. Been atomic. <laughs> you got everyone maxed out the story dungeon secret, did you? That's funny. Yeah, I think I never watched this full playthrough. But um, but yeah, I think Nico B at one point stopped and grinded. And got like and like got to level 99. Like less than halfway through the game. Something to cheer me up, Blanca. What you got? Uh, I'm not gonna bother with any items. Especially because it's not till a later floor. Floor six through nine. I retweeted this earlier. <laughs> I have seen that already, but hey, I'll, I'll look at it again. It is a very wonderful image. Just don't pick up any seeds so I can go back to the grotto. Yeah, probably. I'm also not going to pick up any fucking gravel. We must feed him. We must feed him gravel. Jamie Schnalcom. He is the king of love. We must feed him. 
We must feed him gravel. I also wish I were watching that instead of playing this. Specifically the Danganronpa parody. A little baby pigeon. Nasty bee. Have you ever wondered why we're here? What's it all about? You've no idea. Everywhere you look, all you see is hatred and darkness, death and fear. But you know it doesn't have to be that I hate you and you hate me. Because even though we're different, it doesn't make a difference. And we can live in harmony. No, you don't know who I am. But maybe I could hold your hand. And together we could understand about love. Peshkibi! Not nasty bee. My mistake. It's been a while. I need to correct that. He could singing voice, Blanco. Thank you. <laughs> I try sometimes. That's not true. I try all the time. In this institution, I'm to pray. How I got to pray? Weedle's eating my berries. Eh, you can have them. Berries can't help me right now. Eh, you're fine. Make sure that was a uh that wasn't a reviver seed before I picked it up, but well, whatever. Also floor six. Okay. So I need to actually seek out enemies now. The fuck did they do to poison? How did it work originally? Here it seems to just last 20 turns and go away eventually, but also murder you if it doesn't go away fast enough. Oh, is that what it is? It goes away between floors? Okay. Have I seen that movie? What is it from? It's just called The Warrior's Dead Ass. <laughs> then no. I just watch too much TV. References! <laughs> 
There's one! I'm kind of scared, because it seems like nobody wants to join my party lately. But there's one! Motherfucker! Is there anything whatsoever to, that makes it more likely for people you defeat to join your team, or is it just pure random and, like, a pretty low chance? Because it certainly seems like it. Or at least in- I don't know, it seems like in flock dungeons they join easier. I don't know if that's an actual thing or if it's just the way my luck's working or what. But, like, anytime I'm backtracking through older dungeons, it seems like any- but it seems like very, very rarely do people want to come with. Paris. Wrong arachnid. An item called the friend bow. Cool. Another thing I don't have. Hog. Where did I hear that reference? What? Warriors! That, that shit? Ah, uh, everywhere. <laughs> I think there was a commercial at some point for something that referenced it. I think South Park made, um, I, I think South Park did a bit on it. It's just one of those things. Did regular show reference it? Yeah, I wouldn't know that one, but yeah. South Park did reference it at one point. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, I feel like most stuff does. You get a friend bow post-game, which boosts your chance by 10%. Outstanding. Yeah, sub. Sorry to say, but I don't think I'm willing to go that far. <laughs> uh, you you didn't you didn't give any money for it yet, right? You just said you just said you uh you were going to when we got one. Because I don't want to jip I don't want to jip you out of any, anything. Because yeah, like I'm I'm already backtracking through a dungeon I don't need to back uh, backtrack through. <laughs> just because the main campaign's pissing me off so goddamn much right now. But yeah, like, I, I, I don't like this game. <laughs> I don't like playing this game. And I don't want to play it any, uh, any longer than I have to. Even for money. Because it's just not interesting. Like, there's nothing more I can say. I have so little to talk about. <laughs> At least I can tell Ian I finally played one. Did Ian? I doubt. What? Did Ian care about these games? I find it hard to believe that Ian gives a shit about anything related to Pokemon. You thought one of them did? I don't know. I don't remember Ivy saying anything ever. And Ian hates Pokemon. So I don't quite know where that's coming from. Little oh, green spider fuck that it's fine by you, Bobby. <laughs> Oh, there's another one. 
Another one. Mother. Hubert? I'll take a Hubert. Sub to, uh, sub to make it up for you. This won't, <laughs> this won't make it up to you. But I'll uh, tell you what. When I get back to uh, Scarlet... When I, get, when I get back to Scarlet and Violet at some point, I will continue to abuse my absurd luck with shinies in that game and catch a, a, a shiny... Um, uh, what's it called? What's the new spider? I can't remember the new little guy's name, but I'll, I will catch one of those. A shiny one. Tarantula, that's the one. It's shiny form, it's pink. It's kawaii. Is it possible for those rare enemies to join you? Because it certainly doesn't seem like it. But then again, the join rate is just just seems like it's kind of trash in general. Never mistake your stacks with your pets. Oh god. Good thing I don't like beef jerky. Or whatever those sausage sticks are called. Skull bash. Also boost my defense. Oh, it's a charge move though. Ah, nah. You ate a biscuit, a dog biscuit? Oh no, ew. I'm so sorry. They don't actually join you. There's no chance to recruit them. The only way is to get them way later, and even then you'll never be able to recruit them in dungeons. Outstanding. Did I see the thing bomb and receive? Oh, yeah, 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 I know about that, yeah. Yeah, the thing tanked hard when it first came out. People hated it. To be fair, it also... It, the, the, the reviewers, I can't really... I can't really say why reviewers hated it, but I know the reason it didn't do well financially is because, um... 1986, I think it was? I think that's when it came out. E.T., <laughs> that's part of it, yeah. Yeah, E.T. E was a fucking loaded year for uh, for movies. Really good movies, especially sci-fi. There was just a huge oversaturation that year. It had stiff competition. There's one. Nope. How many floors is this place? Nine. Is, that, is nine the last one? I'm going to assume if I go deeper, it'll just end. I may as well just hang out here and keep trying. It is the last one. Okay. Now we just hang out here until we die or get booted. Or until, let's see, what time is it? Quarter after. I'll bop, I'll bop around here until 10.30. If the game doesn't kick me out until then. And then I will both give up on this and end. Or until I die of hunger. Ah. We've got apples. Although now that you mentioned it, I'm, 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 I am slightly hungry. I will probably heat up some leftover pizza. Before I sit down to finish Devil Survivor. With the alt with all uh, you lovely folks. Who have chosen to participate in that? It's 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 better than I remember it being. It's suit and, and so now I'm just super frustrated with it. You had leftover pizza today too, Gamrick. Nice. Yeah, it was fresh pizza earlier. We got um, we got uh Papa John's. I got to have my ch uh, cheesy Alfredo pizza I hadn't had in a while.
but I obviously could not finish an entire pizza on my own, so there's a lot left over. Hunger Games, Absol dies of hunger, oh no. Absol, no! Come on. Come on! Twenty-one days until your favorite character's birthday in Twisted Wonderland? Nice! Yeah. Yeah, sub, it's, it's not just your little green boy. Like I said, recruitment rates in this game just seem really, really shit. False swipe boosts it. I don't have that. I don't have that and have no interest in grinding to get it. I guess I actually should. I, I I guess it actually will be hunger, because I definitely shouldn't be wasting um shouldn't be wasting resources with that last dungeon on the horizon. Just to Paris. Yeah, I ain't got shit because I lost all my resources from before. When the wind blows at a dungeon, head straight for the stairs. If you stay too long, you'll be blown away and fail your adventure. Okay. Alright, fear the reaper. Bye. I tried. I got a gold dojo ticket. Whoopsie doo. Ligar, I think that's probably better than the one I have, so sure. I don't think the one I had before had a nick had a um had an ability. Alright. We did good today, yeah, sure, Squirtle. Keep telling yourself that. Let me see what this is about real quick. Let me see if this is actually useful information or not. Let me see if I was actually supposed to fail out on the first try. And then these guys are going to be like, hey, here's a secret to make that not suck. Or if they're just going to be something like, duh, water is good against ground. Like, okay, yeah, that'd be great if I could actually recruit any fucking water types, wouldn't it? Fifteen times we've been in that damn place. Why does it keep happening? Because we suck. Sucking in will. The will to win, that's it. It's about willpower. I didn't realize. Wow. Riveting advice. Alright, let me just use the willpower mechanic to make that suck less. Oh, wait! Bye, Blanco. You have a good one. I'm finishing off. I shouldn't be. Because, again, I've said before, I have no intention of grinding off-screen. I'm sorry. I don't enjoy this game at all. <laughs> Not gameplay-wise, anyway. Yeah, I cannot stress enough. Pretty decent story for a Pokemon game. Hampered by very, very monotonous, very tedious, 
very poorly thought out gameplay. Just dear God. Go in here, you're all useless. So yep, yeah, I don't know what I can do other than try, uh, I guess we'll be back tomorrow, <laughs> try again. Run all the way through that goddamn place. And this time, just probably try to focus more on uh, making a beeline for the stairs. Again, this is this is how much my brain turns to mush during the dungeons. I don't remember what my strategy was last time. <laughs> probably because I didn't need one other than getting fucked over by the monster houses, but because that's a thing that can happen now. I um, I just need to make a point to um, uh, what's it called? No monster house. I ran into two of them in one thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're hard to get away from. It's not really a mess. That's not really uh, how it works. If those things spawn, I'm just screwed immediately. Bad times. Want to call it? Oh, yeah, no, I definitely am. Like I said, I shouldn't be. Because we're just going to get stuck. Because, again, we're, we're literally going to get stuck in a loop. Like, this might actually be what I can't finish. <laughs> Not because I can't, but just because, good god, I am out of patience with this game. But we'll try. We'll be back tomorrow. Go in with the same team, our A team. And just try to avoid monster houses and make beelines for the stairs and hope that we don't eat shit this time. If we do again, I might just look up the ending on the YouTube.com.com. Because <laughs> I don't want to play this. I don't want to go through these tedious, boring-ass dungeons anymore. I can, I can feel myself aging. <laughs> Ugh. All right. We'll figure it out. Thank you all very much for putting up with my bullshit. Special thanks to Fusion Ninja, Go Cartier patrons. If you want to help support Cheesy Alfredo Pizza, check out links in the description. Love you guys. Bye bye.